Hello everybody, Tyron the Guy 3 here, and welcome to the third extra, well, yeah, by this time it will be the third extra, uh, video that I'm doing, just to showcase some things off that's around the game that I didn't get to show during the actual storyline of the game. Um, this story, this, uh, subplot, I guess, is the, uh, the abandoned ship. Basically, um, and I'm really upset about this extra in general because I was supposed to do this extra when I did this extra me and a friend I had a friend um, her name's Luna you'll probably see her in uh, other videos I make but me and her were supposed to do a uh, we're doing a record we were both doing a simultaneous recording of this like she was doing commentary and me we were both commentating over this uh, this particular video and what ended up happening was the Skype recorder I chose to record all of the footage um, somehow for some reason just didn't work I have like a Skype recorder mp3 or whatever and it just refused to work so when that happened um, it basically screwed me over so what I just told her what happened and she'll make a guest appearance in my next LP well not in the next I wouldn't say the next LP but the LP the Pokemon game I'm doing after this one because the next LP I'm doing isn't going to be a Pokemon game it's a spoiler alert there but um yeah uh, basically we are here in the abandoned ship and in the abandoned ship there's a lot of things we have to get done with here like um, and there's a lot of hidden treasures you can get. It's a nice way to get the to level grind first of all if your Pokemon are in the uh, mid uh, If your Pokemon are in mid 20s or early 30s, then this is a perfect place for your Pokemon to start training Because uh, you know your Pokemon can get a lot of experience points and get the levels uh, levels mid 30 faster Mid to late 30s faster. Unfortunately, I didn't really go back here into this area because it's so close to do for a town and I passed the Dufer Town so long ago, I didn't think about it. So I decided to go back and do this extra. Like, I know I'm not going to get a lot of levels out of it, but I really don't care. I just want to get, like, the extra stuff that's inside of it. And I just wanted to showcase it off because it was one of the things I wanted to tackle before the Pokemon League happened. Um, the way things are going, um, because I have to go to school and I want to go ahead and upload everything before... Um, I want to upload all of my videos because I'm, I'm pretty much done with the recording for Pokemon Emerald. I'm like, I beat the league and everything. So I have that recorded. I want to do commentary and edit over each episode before, um, before, so sorry about that, before I go back to school, which is like literally two days from now. So I'm, yeah, I'm doing all nighters. Basically, I'm, uh, yeah, get this last extra video out of the way, and then it'll be um, then it'll be Victor Road, and then I'll do a video for each Elite Four I battle. So yeah, <clears throat> basically here in the abandoned ship, you're going to need a couple of things. Obviously, you're not going to need Surf in order to get past, and you're trying to find like little hidden keys. Like that's the gimmick of uh, the abandoned ship. People have left like left departed items along, and for some reason, trainers are here. Like I don't know why the trainers are here. But they're here. But here's where you can get a lot of like water and ice-based items. Like you get um, I, uh, you get Harbor Mail. You get I think some other like fun little treasures. They'll show off as I show each of them off. Yeah, and I, I mostly battle a lot of trainers in here. It's, it's no big deal. None, like I said, none of the trainers are going to be a real threat. I do know that this one, I think it's this sailor right here. He uses spiel. Yeah, here it is. The spiel. And the spiel lucks the hell out because I accidentally end up trying to... I don't know why I ended up using sword dance instead of just going ahead and beating his ass with, um, with, uh with a cut or a slash I guess I was trying to uh, to have slasher sweep through both of those Pokemon without them attacking but I freaking use sword dance and what that ends up doing is keeping slasher in lock so where he can no longer use any of the moves but swords dance so I'm stuck in this everlasting sword dance cycle and freaking spiel is an ice type Pokemon and slasher is weak to ice type Pokemon so this thing ends up using Ice Ball so many times that I have no choice but to switch it out to an item. And what Ice Ball does is that it gets stronger each time it hits uh, a Pokemon 
in succession. So yeah, it's one of those moves you really have to look out for. It's like it's like Fury Cutter for Ice type Pokemon, I guess, because every time it happens, it gets stronger. Or no, I a better example I'd have to say would be uh, Rollout. It would be Rollout for. Um, it would be like the rollout for ice type Pokemon. It gets stronger each time it happens, and I think it happens consecutively. Like once you use it, you have no choice but to keep using it over and over and over. So yeah, unfortunately, uh, things don't look good for me, so I have to go ahead and um, and heal up. But the ice ball gets so friggin' big to the point where it almost kills Slasher. Fortunately, the Encore fades right then and there, so I'm able to, yeah, the Encore ended, so I'm able to freaking use Cut to sweep Spiel and uh, Monchoke, because the next Pokemon is Monchoke. Yeah, that was me trying to be a badass and get Slasher to sweep through two Pokemon, and it, I ended up almost getting killed in the process. So yeah, that embarrassing moment happened for me. Yeah. But yeah, and, and that takes care of him. So anyway, yeah, like I said before, I told my friend Luna, and that's what I'm calling her because I'm not going to call her by her regular name. Uh, I call, I told my friend Luna, you know, the recording effed up on this part because she, I, I wanted her to be a, a special guest in this one. I didn't want her to be a special guest in any of my Elite Four battles because, um... I felt like if I had a guest on that one, it would be completely unfair for like other friends because I have other friends like uh, Shadow. She's another friend of mine who I wanted to be a guest in one of my LPs. If I uh, feel like if I give one person the chance to be a guest in such a big episode like the Elite Four, then I'd have to give my other friends the chance to. I was going to try to have a guest appear in each Elite Four battle, just you know, just to be fun, but um. I decided to just go ahead and go at each elite battle, uh, elite four battle alone. And yeah, I'm gonna commentate over each one by myself, cause you know they're not that long. I, yeah, the elite four battles I do aren't that long, it, with the exception of like Drake and the Champion. But other than that, yay a ship! <laughs> I'm just tripping off this kid. Yay, it's a ship! Yeah, one of the things my friend Luna really com uh, commented on was the fact that these little kids are on this, like, broken up ass boat. Like, that was really pissing her off to the point where she just had to keep mentioning it over and over. She's like, little ass kid, why are you here with no parents? Yeah, and then she likes Meryl, but I told her that Meryl was part fairy type and it really pissed her off. She, she doesn't know how to really take the new fairy types that have been introduced to Pokemon. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. <clears throat> So yeah, with that said, uh, we take out Charlie, and we continue onwards towards the ship. That room I escaped from before with the water in it, I will be coming back to it, obviously. And I'm just going to go ahead and let my uh, captions at the bottom of the screen explain what's going on with that. But as of now, uh, yeah, Sand Slash and uh, Meryl. I, th I gotta say, I like Sand Slash's uh, spikes in this game or it's spines or whatever I like those spines it has in this game and this game alone but I gotta say that <clears throat> excuse me I gotta say that in um, it's it's overall sprite looks weird like other than the spikes it's sprite looks very weird like it's hunched over it's hunched over but it's got one hand on the ground and the other hand is sort of like out there it's a very weird stance if you ask me so yeah, with that said, Sand Slash goes down, and I'm about to take out Meryl really soon. Like I said, all of these battles usually just end very quickly for me because, you know, I'm way ahead of these Pokemon. I'm freaking curve stomping all of these Pokemon because I'm way stronger than any of them. Which I gotta say, I should have I should have came back. I uh, should have come back to this area where my Pokemon were at mid mid uh, to late twenties. Or at least beginning 30s, because then my Pokemon would have had like a, it would have been a challenge, I guess you would say. It would have been more or less a challenge if my Pokemon had been that type of strength when I was in here. But you know, I completely passed this place up. I almost forgot this place existed. So yeah, that's the situation with that. Um. I go ahead and use uh, overheat. Uh, it, it's weird looking at my move sets now, knowing that my Pokemon moves completely change as uh, 
as I play out the rest of this game, or like the last five episodes of this game. Mm. The only other thing left to show would be, see I did this in a weird order, I actually did the Pacifilog, because what I did for my extra videos, I showed off the rest of the trick house, this is for if you never haven't watched my other extras. I show off the rest of the trick house, which you can only get by uh, obtaining each of the badges to the corresponding trick houses. And then the other thing I did was the, um, I, yeah, so there's two videos on the trick house. And then there's uh, this video, obviously, the uh, abandoned ship video. And then my next video is the Pacific Log, which I already did the recording for. I just need to do the editing. So with that said, I've already done that. And here we find one of Captain Stern's, like, um, workers, scientists, whatever. But we find a storage key, and we need that storage key in order to unlock a certain room so we can get a certain item. But the man, the scientist there, is saying that he lost a scanner somewhere on this abandoned ship. So it's our job to go in and uh, find the scanner in the abandoned ship. Because we need that scanner in order to get another item that is particularly special or at least special if you want to get a certain type of Pokemon I'll get more into detail about that later but as of now I end up going here yeah I'm about to explain exactly what's going on right now so I go ahead and use surf but then I realize <laughs> yeah I forgot how to get I forgot to get a Pokemon with dive on my team so I return back and now I have a Pokemon with dive and I'm gonna go ahead and use Duck Dodgers to use Dive. So yeah, I use a lot of my Pokemon. This is like the second time I use Duck Dodgers, and it's not the last time either. I use Duck Dodgers a little bit more because, you know, spoiler alert, I teach Duck Dodgers Waterfall so I can get to the Pokemon League. But uh, with that said, uh, you go ahead and thank Duck Dodgers to dive me underwater so I can progress with the rest of the abandoned ship. Now the thing about this is uh, each of the rooms here are locked except for one of them and they're each supposed to have a key in it and you saw that little sparkle that I just noticed yeah I found the room one key so I now I can go into room one and find the keys in those rooms now when I find each of the keys in each of the rooms I'll be able to unlock each of the rooms and you know get the item that I'm looking for as of now I have too much stuff in my uh, bag so I go ahead and throw some stuff away <clears throat> and excuse me about that my throat's getting a little raspy which is sad because I have like freaking five more videos to record over mm. I cannot believe it man like just looking at it now I have all eight badges I got, man it's been so long since I did the LP but since I started the LP and I to all those of you all who followed me this long or at least kept track of my LP for this long I understand the beginning was very bad so yeah I go in this room but I can't go forward because you know those trash cans are in the way I check every trash can too just to be safe but um yeah you can see those keys were clearly sparkling in that room so yeah for those of y'all who stuck with me all the way in this um in this LP or like who had to put up with terrible voices that, that I had at the beginning because of the bad mic that I had or those of y'all had to put up with my terrible editing skills or just unprofessionalism and me just getting started. This was my first LP I ever done. Like, the, like literally, the idea of doing this LP just came from me watching one, uh, Chugga Conroy beat, beat the game Pokemon Fire Red. And I immediately said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do something of my own. I don't want to be a channel that just favorites that just goes in and favorites other videos. I want to be a channel that uploads videos as well. So I decided to go ahead and, you know, after my poorly made reviews of, of video games, which I'm going I'm going to revamp one day. I'm not sure when. But yeah, I definitely got to say I've grown. But I'm going to save a lot more of this, like, conversation that I'm doing of you, with you all now for the uh, post-mortem. Because, yeah, after this LP is done, I will have a post-mortem of uh, Pokemon Emerald, like, you know, just a, a chance to reflect on everything that the LP has done for me and everything that, um, 
on my experience with the LP it, itself because uh, I gotta say fans or those of you who watch me I really had fun playing this game like regard I know I'm well aware that my views are relatively low for each Pokemon Emerald LP video like I'm fully aware that I don't have any views for real for for a lot of the videos I've done for a lot of my Emerald LP videos but I didn't really do it to get fans I'm not like a fan whore or anything I did it just because you know I wanted to complete it and I've become this far to completing it I feel that I've gotten that I've really grown because of this LP but like I said I'll save a little bit more of that for the postmortem um yeah cuz I'll be giving the full expressions of it on the postmortem but with that said we found the scanner it's in the final room there we found every uh, item we need <clears throat> so I need to leave yeah I go ahead and you surf and for safety reasons, I didn't check those other places because I had a feeling that those were just shiny pieces of trash. So, I didn't bother. I used Doug Dodgers to go ahead and use Dive to get me out of there. So, I'm going to go ahead and meet up with that scientist again so I can show him that, hey, I got the scanner. So, yeah. Success there. I go in and, uh... What am I doing? Oh, I searched this room in the back because now I have the storage key. There we go. And if you go in this room, you will find, boom, Ice Beam. A really useful move to have in this game. I mean, like, it's ultimately useful. I know that my Pelikill has Blizzard, but I'm going to just go ahead and spoil it now. I teach Pelikill Ice Beam and take away Blizzard because Blizzard, while it is strong, misses a lot. Or, and usually in my case, it has the tendency to miss a lot. And I would much rather have a move that does less damage but hits more than a move that does more damage but I have a chance of missing because missing can make or break an entire game so with that said I go ahead and show them that I found the scanner and he tells me to go ahead and take it to uh, Captain Stern so that's exactly what we're gonna do I'm, I go into this room and I decide to use the escape rope or yeah now I use the escape rope use it now 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 <laughs> What are you doing past me? Use the damn... There you go. So yeah, I go ahead and use the escape rope, but I edit so I can teleport myself here to Slayport City so I can spare you all the trouble of me going there. So with that said, I go ahead and uh, go inside the harbor. I don't know what I'm waiting for. I, I stop and think about it. Yeah, I see it and then I leave and then I go back knowing that Captain Stern's right there. It's hard to recognize him because he looks like a generic scientist. But yeah, he gives us the scanner. And with that said... He um, offers us two items, the Deep Sea Tooth and the Deep Sea Scale. Now, the Deep Sea Tooth, if you have a Pokemon named Clam Pearl, can evolve the Clam Pearl into Hungtail when you trade it. The Deep Sea Scale will turn it into Gorbis. Personally, I like Gorbis more, so I take the Deep Sea Scale, but I'm not going to use Gorbis in, the, in this Let's Play at all. But, you know, there you go. So, yeah, with that said, I go ahead and complete that little side quest. I will see you all then, everybody. Tyrone the God 3, out. Next time I see you, I will be doing Victory Road.